Okay. Uh, someone had asked me how to get East West Play working with the uh, Complete Control S forty nine or S what series. Um, so basically, you have chord functionality, uh, arpeggiator, and um, all that kind of stuff. Cool features that you could previously only use with uh, the complete series instruments, but now you can use them with third-party instruments. So what you need to do is open up an instance of complete control. And once you're in complete control, you go to your file menu, no, edit menu, preferences, then you go to user, and you add your the library where your VST plugins are, mine's just Steinberg VST plugins in the program files, I'm using 64 bits so it's in regular, instead of x86. Um, Then you hit rescan after you've added it and do the same for plugins. Afterwards, you'll see that play is there. If you're using the default installation directory for play, it'll be program files and then common files. I'll show you program files, common files, and it'll be in that east west folder. VST plugins, but because I've installed it into just a regular VST folder, it's not in there for me, but it may be for you, so that might come in handy. Um, so once you've done that, rescan as well, and yep, all you have to do after that is go to there, this little thing here, it's not exactly obvious, then plugins. And there you go, East West. All the all the native instruments ones are there. East West Play is there, and also the Steinberg basic sort of Red Rogue and Pad Shop are there, which I've never really paid that much attention to, to be honest. But if you click on East West Play, East West Play will now open up within Complete Control. Um, you can go in East West Play and say I select pianos and I'll select a nice Steinway um, and I'll go for full patch dynamic I never know which one's the best one is it sustain dynamic maybe someone can tell me in the comments is it the master or is it the master sustain dynamic one or sustain rep dynamic I'll try that one probably the one that takes the longest to load but to be honest this is from an SSD and they all take a long time to load so so here we have the piano right and then if I go in here and use the uh, shift and scale key on the S49 I can go in and I can turn chords on. So here's harmony chords. Whoa, is there a harp song? Okay. So there you go. You can go through the different, so there's chord sets.
So yeah, there you have the chords. And then obviously you can use the arpeggiator to um, and then if you go into the settings on that, you can change the amount of swing, change the sequence, change the rhythm. So that's how you do it. It also works with all the the string libraries. Um, so if I open up some of the stuff out of Hollywood strings, short, tight. I could have said something inappropriate there, but I shall resist. So there's some round robin violins. Yeah, so basically that's how you do it. Um, it'll work with every instrument that way. Other instruments that I that were in my VST folder haven't been added, so I don't know if they're just not compatible. But like uh, BFT and things like that. But I honestly don't know. Um, but hopefully that was helpful. That's how you get it up and running inside Complete Control. You have to use it within complete control, it won't work unless it's loaded up within this interface. Same way that the other instruments won't work either with the uh, more advanced features of the S40s or the S series. But the S49 is the one that I have. So yeah, cheers. <laughs>